Hello, thank you for watching this video. Purpose of this video is to provide a quick overview of Ariba Network Standard Account. As you may know, Ariba Network is available for suppliers in two different subscription models Standard and Enterprise. Standard is a free version, and Enterprise mode is a paid version. Let's begin with the Standard account first. Here, I am going to log in as a supplier who has registered for standard account. So this is the landing page of the standard account. As you can see, it's similar in look and feel wise as to the enterprise account. But if you see the inbox, the outbox, catalog, reports, functionalities, uh, including the self service reports, are not available for. Uh, the standard account of course there is the option to go for upgrade uh, if you choose to do so and within within the standard account you have an, uh, options to go for uh, select Ariba discovery model uh, proposal and questionnaire model and the, the contract model uh, however looking at the, the procurement model where there is the ability to share uh, to receive uh, the information from the customer and this could be one to many relationship so as a supplier i can receive uh, purchase order documents from multiple customers i can see as I, I have small uh, lighter dashboard where i can see uh, various different documents which which at a various different stages in the life cycle from procure to pay um, i can see there is there is one order there for confirmation now if you if you look at the difference between the enterprise account and standard account you will see the purchase order there in this grid in this table but you wouldn't be able to take action from here and that's the limitation of the standard account so you would then have to send it out to your uh, own account to, to your own email address here i'm logging as siley's uh, account so if i uh, send that email out uh, what it does is it will send email to the user's inbox the in this case suppliers user inbox and here you go if we, if we look at the account here i just received an, a, a purchase order from uh, ariba network standard portal and and i can have a look at the details of this purchase order uh, it's, it's it's pretty nice and clean a, uh, ui it has all the details about the purchase orders obviously if you have spotted this there is a changes also are identified in different color so if there are any changes made in the, the company address etc so for demo purpose we have changed some some bits and pieces here uh, and that can be spotted so there you can uh, show if a buyer has changed any data they can say simply from the email but if they want to uh, as a supplier if they want to interact with this purchase order i confirm the purchase orders or uh, potentially create a uh, invoice against this purchase order simply click on the, the the url or button in the mailbox and you will be now diverted to this screen here this page here which is also part of your stand account uh, but there's no dashboard you you're essentially in the purchase order transaction it opens that transaction uh, web, web page and allows you to create either the confirmation or confirm the line items allows you to create a shipping notification or allows you to create an invoice or obviously create memo. Few things again you can't do it here you cannot download it in CSV so download upload functionality is not available in the standard account um, and then of course if you if you have missed this uh, email or if you want to send it to somebody else in your organization the supplier to process it you simply uh, forward this email to that person as the other user, when you receive this email, you simply click on that button and log into the transaction and start the processing from that point onwards. All three functions uh, for, for example, creating order confirmation or shipping notification or invoice creation. But in the, in the supplier organizations where these three different tasks are performed by three different people in different functions, uh, then it's also possible either uh, the email can be triggered automatically to the right person or uh, one person can definitely just simply forward that email across to the 
to the team member and and the team member as long as the person has an access to Ariba network they can uh, log into this portal and take the necessary action so in this example uh, to complete uh, the, the the cycle for for this purchase order what we could do is just um, go to uh, let's say we have to submit uh, invoice for this uh, obviously we could do the order confirmation uh, shipping notification or invoice but for the sake of this demo let's go ahead and create uh, invoice um, as soon as the the screen comes in it's a standard uh, electronic invoice document it basically flipping the PO over and providing the PO data available to, to submit the, the invoice um, we will put in let's say the sales billing document number that is coming from the sales system of a supplier let's call this uh, uh, our series which is generated from the sales uh, system of a supplier uh, obviously we'll have to select uh, tax category let's select uh, in this case the GST of 18% it will be automatically calculated so that's the header value uh, obviously we have an option to confirm fully or partially uh, so let's say this let's confirm for quarterly 10 and screen, click on next screen. This will, before I submit the invoice to the customer, I get this summary screen, uh, which seems to be absolutely fine based on what we have entered in the system. Uh, nice and clean UI is presented to user to re review all the details that has been keyed in, and a user can submit the invoice here. And that's the, the confirmation email so we now have an email sent out to the user um, as you can hear in the background i all as a supplier user uh, i also receive an email which is sent out uh, from from my account to the customer so a copy of that is also sent out to the, to the supplier I'm sorry to the to the to the customer uh, and the user can uh, again in future date for reference can again go back from the email into this account um, and, and, and display the invoice. If necessary, they can download the PDF, copy this invoice and then create a new one. If, if after completing this transaction, if as a user I have another transaction to do, uh, let's say in this case, if I want to now go ahead and do some order confirmation, which is waiting for me, um, I can go to the dashboard again, but as I said, the dashboard has a limitation i can't really directly uh, make any transaction from here um, i have to push this transaction out to to my account to my email account uh, on my email account i'll get that PO again i can from PO, i can access the button uh, for for processing the PO, as you can see here and from here again i go back to the same screen for that PO now and i can go for either confirming the entire order or partially or rejecting the order so the cycle runs through the portal is available uh, the dashboard is uh, a, a light version dashboard is available uh, to, to select the, the right uh, order or purchasing document that has been shared by customer um, and then once we select the, the specific document in the grid we can push it out to the inbox and from inbox we can go to the transaction it's a bit long-winded way for for uh, small volume of transaction it, it could become very very handy um, it's complete last bits um, the enterprise version comes up with this all upload download uh, csv uh, uh, bulk processing stuff which is not supported here uh, of course there's a support to submit non pure invoices as well so if you're a supplier which which, which who, who provides services uh, uh, with, with, without reference to the purchase order specifically, uh, it is possible to go to uh, submit the non pure invoices. I think having this function in for those non regular, uh, irregular, uh, supplier, yes. irregular suppliers that we engage for certain bits and pieces, um, this is a great tool. Uh, all those non pure invoices, which could very easily become a bit of a challenge for accounts payable function uh, to, to manage. Um, can can be managed electronically here so to finally conclude uh, 
this particular slide shows us uh, the comparison between the standard account and enterprise account um, the different features which are listed here in the first column for example access to Ariba network for standard account is is available only through emails whereas the enterprise account provides you that through um, the, the online dashboard uh, full-fledged access is available uh, you can customize the company profile to your uh, to your suitable in both the versions um, everything uh, as in purchase orders confirmation ship notifications uh, can be executed but executed through email or standard and for enterprise version it's it's available through a proper portal where you can log in where you can execute transactions from there uh, electronic catalogs are not supported in, in in standard versus in enterprise all upload download of excel catalogs bunch of catalogs maintenance file prices on those bunch of catalogs by suppliers is supported uh, in case of invoices uh, we have basic POE invoice, non PO invoice, and credit notes access on standard, whereas on non standard, um, we have sort of outbox access, CSV upload download access, and contract invoicing, which is another uh, detailed functionality for, for which Ariba offers. That's also available for enterprise uh, subscription. Invoices status um, is, is standard invoice status, which happens through EDI, is available in standard. Whereas the enterprise uh, account allows you to have sort of a payment tracking through bank interface, which is available through Ariba Pay. Um, and then from the archiving perspective, um, you can have a PDF or CXMOs archiving. Whereas um, in enterprise account, you probably would get a longer term archiving. All the data will be saved on your account and uh, and can be archived using zip files and stuff like that um, uh, in terms of live support uh, it's for standard account it's only online help versus the various extensive help available for enterprise account integration reporting not included in uh, standard account versus it's there uh, with those various different means we can integrate with uh, your system with the Riva network um, multiple users are allowed in both the uh, both the versions so these mobile apps are available uh, very uh, you know simple user friendly apps are available uh, which is quite a strong feature of uh, both versions and obviously as we have touched upon the standard version uh, is free of cost versus the enterprise version is uh, a bit more on a fixed term subscription cost plus um, transaction based uh, volume based uh, uh, fees um, so that's all about uh, from us in terms of Alibaba network um, standard subscription versus the, the enterprise which is the paid uh, subscription thank you for watching this video um, and see you soon in the next video thank you